Okay, you guys, we're going to make wax resist fortune cookie paintings. Now, what you'll need for this will be some type of a permanent marker or a ballpoint pen and some crayons and some watercolor paint, okay? So let's get started with the drawing first. Now I'm gonna take my watercolor, um, I'm sorry, permanent marker, which is just this Micron pen. Um, and I'm using a permanent marker because we're gonna be painting later. So if you're using like a Crayola marker and you put water over it, it's gonna smudge. So you wanna use something that's not gonna smudge, okay? Like a Sharpie, a Micron pen, or even a pencil or a regular ballpoint pen will work, okay? But anyways, we're gonna draw a fortune cookie almost in the middle of our page, actually towards the left. So to draw this, we're gonna do basically a big upside down soft V. From the bottom, we're gonna round out that bottom edge. We're gonna go down into another kind of soft V shape. And you're gonna go up towards the middle of the first curved line that you did. And if you want, you can give this end kind of just like a little curved line there. Cause this is gonna be our fortune cookie. So, you know, if you've seen a fortune cookie before, I'm, I'm sure most of you have, it's just kind of like a folded cookie. So this is kind of the inside fold of it. Now from this side, we're gonna turn the end into kind of a rounded shape a rounded line, and then you're just gonna go back straight until you touch the other side of your fortune cookie. Now from the bottom, you're gonna draw kind of like the bottom side of it. So from this edge here, you're just gonna draw the same shape you already have, kind of close to it, just like that kind of just to make it look like that's the underside of it. And then like in real life, the fortune would, would kind of be tucked inside of the cookie there. Now we're gonna do fortunes, okay? I'm just gonna do three. And basically I'm just gonna draw like a wavy line, kind of like a wavy rectangle, okay? Kind of like that. So that's one. I'm gonna do another one right here. It's about the same length and the same thickness, okay? Real fortunes aren't that big because you know they have to fit inside the cookie. So and I'm just gonna do one more here. So I have my kind of like wavy skinny rectangle, okay? If you wanna have like five fortunes, 10 fortunes, <laughs> go for it. Um, I'm just keeping it simple because I don't wanna, you know, fill my whole page with fortunes, but you can if you want. Now, I um, actually have another color Micron pen so I'm gonna switch to that now. If you don't have another color permanent marker, I would just stick with whatever you're using, even if it's black, okay? It's totally fine. But I'm gonna switch to blue to write my fortunes inside. Now, if you've had a fortune cookie before, you know that they have all sorts of random stuff inside. Um, you know, you will be meted by great fortune in this next year, or, you know, a lot of different types of random things that might happen to you um, coming up after you receive that fortune. So that's what I kind of wanna do. We're just heading into a new year, and I wanna put down three fortunes of things that might be nice to do in this next year, okay? So you can make your own. Um, I've done this in the past with students, and I've seen so many different things. I've seen, this year you will get a puppy, or this year you will get straight A's, 
or this year you'll um, win the dance competition. So anything that you wanna have happen in your life, you should write that in your fortune, okay? Um, since I'm an adult, adults kind of have weird things that they have fortunes for, okay? As you'll see. Um, mine are sort of simple. So one will be, you will be thankful. And this kind of just means for me, you know, to just be grateful with what I have. I have a house and food and I'm grateful for that. So you will be thankful. And this just means to be happy with, you know, all the little things I might have in my life. Again, you don't have to do this because these are probably the most boring fortunes that you could think of for, <laughs> for a kid. You will slow down. Maybe I'll do that. This year I've taken it very easy because of coronavirus. Spent a lot of time in my house and it's kind of nice to just chill sometimes, right? So this year you will slow down. You meaning me. Um, how about one about being happy? How about you will be happy? Sometimes it's a choice, right? You will be happy exclamation point. Why not? Okay, so whatever fortunes you wrote on yours, if you need a minute to think about it, I'm gonna just do finishing touches on my picture. I'm just gonna outline my, my fortune cookie here with a little bit of a thicker line because that's something I like to do. Um, and then I'm gonna show you a really cool trick. Okay, which we'll use crayons. So I'm just kind of, I actually save all of my fortunes. So pretty much every fortune I've ever gotten in my life, I have in a jar in my house. I think they're really cool. And I actually just saw online that you can make your own fortune cookies and put like your own fortune cookies inside. And I gotta get that kit. It looks really cool. I don't know how good the cookies would taste, but. Okay, so you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I'm just kind of giving you a few minutes to think about what fortunes you want to write down, what things you want for your life in 2021. I'm recording this video on January 2nd, so we've been in 2021 for one day. <laughs> Almost two. Whoops. Kind of got out of the lines there. That's okay. I'm just going to color that whole part in. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my crayons. Um, I just have a couple colors. I have apricot, brown, yellow, orange, and white. Now, this is kind of the trick I was telling you about. If you color with crayon, crayons are made out of wax, and then you paint over what you've colored if you paint over it with watercolor paint, it resists it, which means that you're not gonna be able to paint over anything that you color with crayon. It's really cool. So we're gonna do that, okay? So that's why we just have a few different colors because we're just gonna color our fortune cookie and our fortunes. So you don't have to color it realistic if you don't want. I am, just because why not? Whoops, my crayon broke. I'm gonna use this little piece. Um, now the trick is that you kind of have to push down hard, okay? Because you want it to have a pretty good wax coverage. You don't really want there to be any um, little pieces of your paper sticking through because then the paint will be able to stick to that section, okay? It really only resists it or pushes it off if it's pretty well covered with your crayon. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna use apricot as kind of my base um, color there for my fortune cookie. Then I'm gonna switch to, maybe I'll do some orange. I just kinda wanna give it a little bit of color. So I'm kinda just putting orange 
on that side there and then a little bit on this bigger part. Okay, just to help make sure that my cookie is really covered with crayon. And then brown, put those over there. I'm gonna use the brown kind of like as a way to create a shadow. So I'm gonna do it on the bottom edges just to make it look like a little bit of a darker part of the cookie. So I'm just kind of trying to blend it by like kind of going in a little bit of circular motion, but you can color it however you want. It's kind of hard to blend crayon colors because of their wax, but you can try. And then there, I'm gonna do a little bit of brown in that section to make it look like the shadow on that part. And then I also grabbed yellow just to give it a little bit more color, maybe like up towards the top. There we go, kind of like that. Okay, now the white, we're actually gonna color right over our fortunes. Um, I'm actually looking to see if I have a gray. Okay, perfect. I'm adding one more color to the mix and that's a gray to give a shadow on our fortunes. Um, but it's gonna be hard to see if you've colored over it, but just do your best. Try to, even though it's white, try to stay within the lines of your fortune and try to press down pretty hard, okay? Look, I broke another crayon. That's how hard I'm pressing down. Um, because you really wanna have these stay white when we paint over it with our um, watercolor paint. Okay, so I think I got everything there with white. Let's do this one. This might be another reason why you only wanna do three instead of like 10 fortunes. Because if you have 10 fortunes and you have to <laughs> color all of them, and it, you might hurt your hand a little. Okay, I think I got that one. Last one with my tiny little crayon. Now you'll also know, besides your hand kind of hurting, you'll also know if you're pressing down hard enough because you'll see like little crayon shavings. You see how there's like little pieces of my crayon here? You'll know that you're pressing down hard enough. Okay, now I just grabbed a gray. You could also use like a blue if you want, maybe like a aqua or whatever, but um, I'm just gonna do like a little bit, just super lightly. I'm gonna color kind of like the bottom and the side with yellow, uh, gray, just to make it look almost like a shadow to give it a little bit of dimension. There we go, I think you can even just kind of feel it and you can tell that it feels waxy. So I think that's this is gonna do a great job with our wax resist. Okay, so now we're gonna paint it. Um, so we need, I have just a paper towel. I have my watercolor paints and I have a little tiny jar of water. And I have um, two different brushes. I have kind of a thin one you know, kind of just like a regular size and then a very thin one. Um, now, if you've never painted with watercolor before, um, watercolor is a wet medium, which means that you need water in order to make it work. These are dry right now. So if I just went like this, you're not gonna see anything, okay? You have to activate it with water. So dip your paintbrush in the water, make sure you get some water in there. And then whatever color you want first, say you want yellow, you're gonna swirl it around and around until you can see that it's turning into paint, okay? So see how I'm picking up a little bit of paint on my brush? So now I know I'm ready, okay? And then you can just paint. Now check this out. Painting over my fortune cookie, but it's resisting my paint. It pushes it off, it turns it into like little beads of water that'll just come off. It's so cool. So it's a way to kind of paint the background of your painting 
without having to worry too much about it. You don't have to like be super careful. See, look, that part's staying white even though I'm painting over it, okay? Super cool, that's wax resist. It's like one of my favorite things to do with watercolor paint, so fun. Now for the background here, I'm just going to do something abstract, which means I'm not painting anything realistic in the background. I'm not painting like a tree or flowers or a rainbow. I'm just painting colors, okay? Now, the trick is if you want your color to be darker, so if I want like a darker yellow, you put less water, okay? So like that's probably as dark as my yellow will get. If you want it to be lighter, add more water. You can even add water directly to your paper and it'll make it even lighter, okay? Say you wanna add another color to the mix. Maybe I wanna add some green, okay? So you have to dip your paintbrush in the water, kind of clean off the yellow, and then dip it in the green. And you do the same thing you did to the yellow at the beginning. You go around and around until you see that it's turning into some paint. Okay. Then you have your green. And same thing, you can kind of paint right over your fortunes, but since you covered it in white, it's gonna stay white. It's like the best trick. Now it's not perfect, you know, like if you keep painting over it, it's gonna start, um, it's gonna start penetrating the crayon and it will paint over it eventually. It's kind of just, you know, um, it just works for like kind of a little bit. So you still wanna be a little bit careful, um, but it works long enough for you to paint around it. I'm also not using the best paper for water for watercolor paint. I'm using um, what's called Bristol board, which is better for like markers and stuff. Um, so if you're using like a printer paper, something like that, that might even work better than what I'm using. Um, but the best would really be watercolor paper. But I didn't have any of that. So I'm just putting paint and water all around my picture. If I want it to be darker, I just add more paint. If I wanted it to be lighter, I just add more water. I'm not like too concerned about the edges and going off the edge of my of my picture because I um, this is watercolor paint. It's water-based, it'll clean up, okay? So yes, you should always try to be careful um, in your space but don't stress too much because um, it, will, it will come off your table easily if you get it off of your page, okay? So if you have a parent nearby that's stressing out, tell them that Miss Alvarez says that it washes out. Don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna use my last color. So I'm cleaning my brush and I'm going to use kind of like this turquoise color, which is my favorite color to do like the edges or this side, okay? And I'm trying to blend it a little bit by kind of like going a little bit lighter in between the two colors. This kind of helps to give it a gradient, which means like it sort of starts blending from one color into the next, okay? So experiment with what happens when you put different pressure on your brush, okay? So pressure is like how hard you press, press down on your brush, okay? So say that you have a very hard pressure, you see how it gives a pretty even coverage of this color, but then if I go a little bit lighter with it or if I add water, it does something totally different, okay? So abstract is a perfect way for you to just kind of like experiment with maybe a new type of paint or a new brush or a new technique because it's just color. It's just color and shape, okay? So there's really no wrong way to do it. Gonna add a little bit, oh, see how dark that is? That's because there's not much water left in my little wet, uh, paint well there. That's okay, I like the dark. Okay. 
so this is kind of my last section that I need to kind of blend so I'm going to put a little bit more water to try to get these colors to mix together and hopefully you're doing whatever colors you want in yours if you want to do all red I'm kind of staying away from darker colors like brown or black because I don't want it to kind of overtake the colors you know Okay, and as it starts to dry, you can see like how dark it will be when it um, when it dries completely. Like for example, and I'm just cleaning my brush, wiping it here to get off all the extra turquoise color. As you see here, it's a little bit lighter. So maybe we go back in with our green and just kind of give it some brush strokes just to kind of give it a little bit of like texture. Give it a little bit of motion so it's not just like a flat background. Maybe we even put some green here in the turquoise. I'm just kind of wiping my brush in between and I'm going to clean it again because I'm going to go for the yellow now. Maybe we put some yellow here. Okay, to me these are like super happy, positive colors to help me have good, whoops, see what happens, I just mixed my, I forgot to wipe my brush and I got my yellow a little dirty, that's okay. What you can do to that, you can just get a clean wet brush, just kind of wipe it and then you can take a little piece of your paper towel and just wipe it away. See, and then you have like a perfectly yellow paint again. So I think I'm pretty much done. Maybe I'll just do a little bit more turquoise lines over here now that that's drying a little bit, just to give it a little bit of dimension there. Okay. And there we go. I think I'm done. Maybe we add a little bit of turquoise there. It's all about experimenting, okay? Wherever you feel like, oh, maybe I wanna have a little bit of turquoise there, or I want a little bit of yellow or a little bit of pink, just go for it, you know? There's no, there's no wrong way to do it. Just do whatever makes you feel happy and then your painting will look even better. Don't worry about how it'll look at the end, okay? All right. So there we go, I think I'm happy with it. I think I feel like it's done. So here is my finished wax resist fortune cookie painting. Hopefully yours came out cool. Hopefully you are super excited about wax resist as much as I am. Um, and have a great new year, you guys, okay? Thanks for joining me. I'll see you back here soon. Bye. If you guys liked making art with me today, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Hope to see you back here again soon.